also I love watching uh I love watching XQC actually. He he's probably the most entertaining guy that I watch on Twitch. Um <sighs> quite genius people indeed. All of them very smart. But there's only one winner. Clocking in 36% of the votes. The winner is Hikaru planning his turn. So knight f2, king f2, bishop d4, rook d4, queen f6 check, I can even go king e3, e5, just like rook d1, queen f4 check, king e2, knight e4, I can just take, like bishop takes e4, and then I go queen c1, and then I hit the queen on f4. My king's very safe, I'm also gonna be up a piece, I'm hitting the pawn on d6 as well. So it should be pretty good for me. Fuck you! <laughs> I mean, there's also Eric Carlson, who I forgot about as well. Um, great defenseman. So yeah, come on, Sweden all the way. Okay, so I'm playing Grigori Opar, and this guy's very, very solid with black. So I'm gonna try to play something very slow. I don't wanna play super theory, think of the 100 bits. I just wanna be very, very slow. Um, I don't wanna do something that's gonna get very aggressive very quickly. Cause he, he likes to play very, very stable setups. Like he always tries to play very stable from the get-go. Okay, let's play C4. Thank you for, um, thank you to Over the Bridge for the sub with Twitch Prime. I can take, obviously, if I want to. D4 doesn't make sense. I think I'll take. <clears throat> Maybe Knight C3. I can play Queen C2. I can also just play D4 here. What's going on? D4, C5, and I take. I can also play Knight C3. Then he's going to take and play C5. I'm going to play D4. E4, E5 makes some sense. I don't know if I should do it though. I can also play like Knight D2 and then, then Knight D2 and E4 makes sense. I also can play Knight C4 maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go Knight C4. Idea to play Knight E5. Idea to play E4 as well. I thank you to Anonymous Gifter for the tier one gift of sub to Gemster99. Okay, so I can play e4, e5, it's reasonable. I'll also play something slow like rook e1, but then he's gonna take and go bishop b4. Queen d2 does not look right. Knight e5 does look playable. I can put both knights on e5 here. I'll also play e3, rook c1, and I mean, so rook c1 looks fine too. Prevent queen c7 here, because then I can take, and there's probably something on the c file. Takes, I can take with the queen and come back, I can take with the knight, I'm not sure what I'll do, but it makes some sense. Both moves are playable. Okay, so he's thinking, thinking quite a while here. Um, I'm not sure which way he's going to take. He, I, or take. I think he said the moves here are CD4 or B5. Bishop F6 is back, so Knight D6. So I think Black has to be careful here. I mean, maybe he can play a waiting move like A6, but that looks very weird. Wow, Knight F6. Now that is not a move I was expecting, actually. Hmm. Strange. The so queen d3 maybe? Knight e5 is always a move, but knight e5 is going to dry the position out a lot. Knight e5. Can I also play knight c e5 maybe?
Um, let's see, 95 maybe. The Queen D3 is possible. Oh, thank you to Pedro ZXX for the sub with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Um, that's Knight of Six is a surprisingly annoying move. Surprisingly annoying. Um, <coughs> maybe I'll pull Queen D2, Queen D4. Seven F three rook d two ninety seven queen d three. Let's just play. I'm just gonna play e three. Support the structure here. See what he wants to do. If he wants to take or not. I'll pre move knight d four in case he takes. I also create a square for my queen, so I can go queen e2 and rook d1, because I, I never can put my queen on the c file either. So I just play b5, I assume I play knight e5. So queen d5, I assume I play queen f3. And he can maybe, no, c4, I just take and go queen e2, and then he's gonna lose the pawn. I'll still pre-move it in case he pushes. I'm sure he won't, but I'll make the pre-move because it's a safe pre-move. Thank you to Crete for the two months. Thank you so much for the resub. Okay, does play queen e5. I think I can play queen f3. So if knight e4, I just take and play rook fd1 and hit the queen. <coughs> Ah, oh, now he goes c4. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I did not expect this. If I take and play rook c2, what's his next? Knight e4. Rook c1, f5. I can also take and play rookie one, maybe. I should def. I guess I should just take though. This I, this much I should do for sure. And now I should play rook c two. I think rook c two ninety four. Rook c one. Queen three. Bishop b two. C two. Rook c seven or something. Knight e4, I can maybe even just take. Every time I hear Hikaru talk, I guess feeling like he doesn't really respect anyone. <laughs> it's a joke. Of course, of course I respect Magnus immensely as a chess player. But I mean, I do prefer Sweden to Norway. That's just a simple fact. Sweden is a better place. Um, but no, definitely. As a chess player, I do, uh, I do uh, respect Magnus immensely. He's obviously the best player in the world and the most consistent player at the moment. Whose games do I enjoy watching the most? Um, I mean, for classical, of, of course, of course, uh, I'm a big fan of. Uh, I mean, every everybody follows Magnus's games. Uh, Magnus and probably Fabiano when I'm not playing him. Um, for like quicker games, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anyone. Like, I love watching Moro play Rapid or Blitz. I love watching Moro play play Rapid and Blitz. I, I'm not gonna lie. Um, same goes for Kramnik as well, actually. So both those guys are amazing. Ali Reza, yeah, I mean, I don't not like watching Ali Reza, but he's so new. That's the thing. If Ali Reza was like, had been around for a bit, it'd be different. But because he's so new, I haven't really seen him play in that many tournaments. Like, 
All the rest have played in Vike, but other than that, I don't think I've seen... Maybe I saw a game or two of his in some tournament in Iceland, maybe? But I just feel like I just haven't seen many games of Ali Reza's. I mean, in person or even just on the internet. Uh, I did not say Moro. I said Moro is an M-O-R-O, -O, and then Zevich, Z-E-V-I-C-H. Moro Zevich. Okay, Rook C7. Okay, I saw this. I mean, I thought I could play like Rook C1 and King G1 or something. Maybe not. Eh. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to progress. Maybe Rook E1 and E4. Okay, 194, C4. I think I can play Rook E1. 94, Knight C4, Rook C8, Rook C1. C1, C3 takes. 6, Knight D3. I think I can. Hmm. I think I can do it. I'm going to go for it. I don't know if it works, but it seems logical. If C3, I can just take. Bishop B4, I think I play E4. Okay, so he does play Knight E4. So now I can take with the Knight or the Rook. I don't know which one I take, but taking with the Knight seems correct. He's got no Knight moves, right? Oh, he's... Four knight g five takes six knight a three. Okay, this is tricky. Rook c four, rook c four, knight c four, rook c eight. I can also play rook c one first. Um, c one c three takes. This is so tricky. Six knight c four. And then he's got knight g five, so I think I have to take. Knight g5 takes six, knight a3. I'm gonna go for it this much. Oh, he just does this? I, th I thought he would go for more. This is uh, it's probably still a draw. Well, I thought this was a draw, but I do have queen b7 maybe. I, I was sure that when we played here that he would, he would go for something like rook c8 or knight g5. He tried to find some way to punish me for grabbing the pawn rather than just playing a very slightly worse endgame. So I'm a little surprised by this decision from uh, from Oparin. Because it's still obviously a draw, but now, now it's a draw where he's he's maybe slight, he's slightly worse probably because he's got an outside pawn and I've got five connected. Mind you, any endgame with 5v4 is a draw, but um, I'm not really that concerned about it. And if I get rook a1 hitting the queen, he's in real trouble. So, like, and maybe, no, but a5, I have rook a1 too. Like, I mean, this is obviously a draw in any endgame with, with rooks on the board, but I don't know why you go for this when you have four minutes, and it feels, it just feels intuitively like black should have something with a pin, this pin. I mean, I'll check after the game with an evaluation, but it just feels, feels like, I mean, a par, and he, he had, he, it, intuitively, it feels like there should be something there. And then, um, and then it's just like he just doesn't sense it, and he goes for an end game, which of course is a draw with correct play, but he's slightly worse. And why do you want that? So let's play Bishop A three. I mean, okay, this this is a draw, but I'm, I'm definitely better here. Thank you to Feather2k for the 12 months. Thank you so much. And I'm better because I can put the queen and the rook to put pressure here, and then I can gang up on this A pawn and win it. Again, this is this is a draw with correct play, but nobody nobody cares because I'm going to win this pawn. So let's see. If I play, I've got to be careful though. Queen c6 or rook b5. I think I'm going to play rook b5 here. Idea to play like rook c5 and rook c7, maybe h4 at some point as well. This is obviously a draw, but I get to play the end game and have some fun. What do you get on your hot dogs? I do not really eat hot dogs, um, very, very rarely anymore.
Yeah, I almost never eat hot dogs. From New York and doesn't eat hot dogs. Well, you could say the same thing. If I'm from Chicago, it would be the same way. I mean, because it's what? Italian sausage, right? There's Queen A2. I don't know what Queen A2 actually does. Like, if I play... I think I should play H4, maybe? I'm going to play H4. Idea to play H5. He's definitely going to play H5 himself. You go Queen C7, maybe? Ah, uh, then he goes Rook A8, so... Does Rook C5 make sense? A5, I think Queen A7 and Rook A5, Rook A4 is good enough. Maybe I, maybe I should have played Queen C7. Okay, I probably should have played Queen C7 first. Uh, give him Queen B1, but then Queen C6. Still tricky. Blunder rook b8. Oh, no, then I have rook a5 maybe? Oh, I missed, I messed this up. Completely messed this up. Maybe though. Rook B6, I can still play like Queen A6 or something. Or Queen A8, I mean. Okay, two. I guess Queen E1. We'll let this get very, very messy. Oh, and it attacks the rook too. Oh, shoot. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we'll... Oh, jeez. I just messed this up. Oh, no. <clears throat> I'm careless. So stupid of me. Ah, oh, so stupid. Mm. Should not have played this H five H four inclusion. I so misplayed this. Ah, jeez, why did I do this? Ah, jeez. Guess I'm still okay here, but this is so crazy to allow this. Completely insane to allow this. Absolutely insane. Because so I can still put the queen on f3, but ugh. Terrible. Absolutely terrible to allow this to happen.
Okay, queen g2 or king h2? I think just queen g2. Oh, so bad. So bad. Just so b Uh, wait, what? Wait, if I take... What's going on? Does he want? So he wants queen e1. So I can obviously make a draw now. I, I probably should. Do I have d5? Um, let's see, there's no way to protect this pawn, is there? Queen yeah, it's just a draw, okay. Oh no, he's got king h7? Oh, he missed. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, I can just take, yeah. Yeah, I can just take and make a draw. Or no, maybe I'm winning, actually. No, because I have queen b2 check. He's got rook f6 or something? It's still checking on each two, so it's still a draw or something. I mean, there's just no way. Okay. Okay, seven, king h6, yeah, there's just no continuation. Oh, do I have rook a1 maybe? Okay, so check rook a1 maybe? Shoot. Give him G5. Ah. Okay, but the game goes on. Yeah, now the game goes on, though. I get King F3. This is obviously still a draw, but the game goes on. G4 maybe? Not E4. Let's try to force a king up maybe? Nah, it's just a draw though. Oh well. I'm still up on the clock though, so at least I can try to play on at some point. Okay, I think I'm gonna go E4. Ugh. 
Okay, let's let's just go. This is just a draw, but I mean I might as well try. Okay, e5. Got e6. This still is a draw, I'm sure, but he's gotta be just be a little bit careful. Um, oh, this doesn't. Ugh. Stupid. Nah, just a draw. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Some way to win that. Two two v one was just always a draw. So. Yeah, that was. That was always a draw, I think, but whatever. Yeah, all right, you guys, I'm gonna run to the restroom again. I will be right back. So what did we miss in the meantime? I just realized I could have played on earlier. I also missed this one. Um, here I should have gone king to f3, and I, I wonder if this is still an easy draw or not, because the problem is rook f5, I go king e4, and then I force you back, and here I get e4. Who got lucky? Drew the round? Oh, did New York get lucky, or did they get lucky? I missed a donation. Um, Thank you to annoying name for the ten gifted subs to the community. Thank you so much. Uh, is is a draw good or bad? Oh, capitalize on a huge blunder. So that's why we want. That's why we drew the match. Drew this round. Yeah, I mean, the, somehow I I really I wonder. Let me just see what the eval is. Um, or what? There we go. Okay, this should be better, right? Okay, oh, let's see, okay. Uh, plus, yeah, this, this is just a draw, right? All oh, this is just a draw. And somewhere around here, I felt like I should have been better. All right, this is good. And now this is where I messed it up. I didn't play the right move here. Queen C7, well, I mean, it gives H4, H5 is being fine. Ah, Queen C7 is a mistake. Here I should go Queen B4 and Rook A5. Yes, this makes a lot of sense. And if I get rook a5, then I'm then I'm going to end up up the pawn. And there's none of this stupid counterplay on the b or the c files. Mm. Still, it's a draw, but this what I did just made it a complete disaster. I think because let's see what happens here. Yeah, and then I play rook a5, and now it's losing, right? Queen f3, and it's still a draw. Okay. Okay. Ah, I found rook a2. Rook a2 is the only move that doesn't lose. King h3. A5. Queen e4 is fine. Okay, takes rook b2. D5. Yeah, d5 is a draw. Yeah, so everything was everything was a draw. Right before the queen trade? What? Yeah, I mean I can trade the queens here, but it makes no difference. What I did was correct, but Yeah, and right here I I mean rook a sounds wrong, I should have played King F3, but all these end games, even if I get the right version, as long as Black defends them, all these two V ones are always a draw with correct play. Thank you, Wiggly Poop Six for the sub with Twitch Prime. All all these end games with the two V one are drawn, even even so. Um yeah, rook a2, at least I found it. I mean, otherwise I lose the game. So we're still up by one point if we head into the third round. But I really would have liked to have won that pawn and just grinded him for like for like 30 minutes in, in a rook and five versus rook and four. But I, unfortunately, I did not play good moves and I was lucky not to lose. Hmm.
But that's life. 